Hello and uh, welcome to, to our webinar. Uh, I'd like to thank each of you for taking out time to be here today. So my name is Bilal Naeem and I'm a Yearlink product manager at Electronic Frontier. So our primary focus on today's session will be the new and exciting uh, wireless decked headsets on offer by Yealink. And I'm joined by my colleague, Asha. Hi, uh, nice to see you all. And uh, without further ado, uh, let's begin. Well, why would you choose Yealink and in general, uh, their headsets? So a few, uh, a few key, sorry, a few key uh, milestones to to factor in for for Yealink is that they are number one uh, in terms of market share by SIP phone, SIP desktop phone unit shipment. They have a very healthy thirty eight point four uh, compound annual gross. Um, more than fifteen million Yealink IP endpoints have been sold globally to date. Yaling IP phones serve more than 500,000 companies around the world, and one in every 500 people on Earth owns or is using uh, a Yaling product. So for any of you uh, that aren't aware, um, the, the Yaling portfolio can be divided into three primary uh, categories. So we have the audio devices to your left, which include the business desk phone series, the conference phone, and the single and multi-cell uh, deck solution. The personal collaboration devices would encompass the business headset and the speaker and camera. And finally, their uh, video solution, which includes the VC series, the meeting I series, et cetera. So the business um, headset will now be in one of the three strategy products outlined um, on this um, um, page. So there will be a, a real focus uh, from, from Yealink uh, going forward on their, uh, their headsets. So just to further emphasize why you would purchase uh, a Yealink uh, headset, so substantial investment, um, more specifically 30% of the total R&D uh, from Yealink will be focused on the headset product line. They've got seven plus years uh, experience on wireless technology. And in that time, they have released nine new decked products, 20 plus years on the uh, audio communication technology, 40 plus months on uh, headset market research to analyze uh, technology development, etc. 200 uh, plus customers uh, in 15 different countries to study and understand all headset requirements, for example, user experience and, and future requirements. And finally, thousands of head stars globally in their database to find the most appropriate or, or best wearing uh, experience, factoring, factoring in things like uh, ID design and materials, etc. So the uh, the main focus on the uh, presentation today, so the uh, WH6 decked wireless headset series. So the um, the series will encompass four models shown to the left there. So we have the WH62. So this is um, provided in two flavors. You can either purchase the single ear or the dual ear or what we have what's called the WH63 convertible, which is uh, very similar to a Bluetooth style uh, headset you can see to your right. And the more uh, premium offering uh, is the WH66, which of course is also uh, in the flavor of a single or, or dual ear offering and the WH67, which will uh, encompass the uh, Bluetooth style um, headset that you see there. So um, some of the more common um, practices for, for decked wireless headsets, um, typically typical applications may include um, co-working spaces, home office or, or private office. 
Oh, sorry, I've uh, I've just got uh, notification that uh, you're unable to hear me. Is that still the case? Can I just confirm, please? Okay, that's fine. Thank you, guys. Um, it's just we, we did have um, one attendee just confirming that he wasn't getting any sound, but uh, you may just want to check that. Uh, just check your end because I do have people giving me confirmation that they are um, hearing me well. Uh, give me a few seconds, guys, just um, confirming with that user. So um, just to further emphasize uh, the recommended uh, user scenarios, so for the WH62 and the WH63, we have um, open office or, or call center applications and Key things to consider would be background noise, uh, interruptions, instant uh, connection, and of course, uh, freedom to, to move around, the fact that they are wireless, uh, wireless decked. The uh, dual uh, microphones with the Yealink Acoustic Shield for, for noise cancellation. We also have the uh, optional um, busy lights to help reduce distraction and eliminate interruptions. Um, you can see where this might be a, a, a factor when taking in call centers, for example. So the dual USB connections to, to PC and phone simultaneously, and of course, the 100, up to 160 meters mobile range and 14 hours talk time. The more premium offering of the WH66 and 67, um, recommended for home office, private office, and of course, hot desking. So uh, a simplified workplace, uh, flexible uh, conversations, and of course, the ability to quick switch between calls. So we have an all-in-one uh, professional communication device to, to minimize the number of tools and wires. So you can easily manage uh, calls and devices with the four-inch uh, touch screen that you see there for the premium uh, offering. And we also have a full duplex hands-free speakerphone with AEC, so for echo cancellation and suppression. And an optional uh, QI wireless mobile phone charging stand, uh, which I have on uh, my WH67 in the desk, and it works really, really well. So the all-day uh, wearing comfort and design, so um, as previously uh, highlighted with the WH62 and 66, you also have the single ear and dual ear headset and the uh, convertible alternative. So this would be the WH63 and 67. You of course have the, the neck band, the air hook, the in-ear option, and of course the um, over the head option. I myself am using the over the head option um, found at the bottom uh, right hand corner. And of course, uh, we have the uh, adjustable microphone for the WH62 and 66, uh, soft leather cushions, very lightweight design, uh, very impressed with the build quality personally, and uh, breathable wearing as well. So it's it's very easy on in, in terms of comfort and, and design. Okay, just to further confirm the, the noise cancelling microphone uh, embedded on these headsets to um, improve the uh, audio uh, calling experience and some of the key things you would typically expect uh, from Yealink in the form of HD video call quality, the acoustic shield, and of course the uh, dual micro microphones I've just emphasized as shown in the uh, picture above. So this is for the WH62 and the 66 that uh, the um, wireless headset would be bundled with. And um, very happy to say the uh, a very impressive um, long wireless range and and all day power. So in my during my testing times, I uh, this was one of the key factors that I was working on, and uh, very very impressed 
um, personally with my tests and the the outcome um, on on my headset testing. So uh, up to 160 meters um, is what the Alink claim. Um, we have an all day power, so up to 14 hours talk time. Uh, I would say probably more than enough for uh, for a day's work. And obviously the the high density installation that you see there on your right, uh, which it would be perfect for uh, taking in. Um, um, features such as the uh, Yalink Acoustic Shield technology for, for noise cancellation and, and distractions that you would typically expect in a, a busy environment. Okay, so the uh, broad compatibility that we see here, so this image is for the WH-62 uh, and some of the uh, popular mainstream applications that the headset will work with include Avaya, Broadsoft, uh, Microsoft, Vonage, uh, so on and so forth. And of course, you also had the uh, ability to um, physically connect via USB to uh, a Yealink IP phone in this example. And you do not require the uh, EHS adapter. So the on-hook, off-hook mechanism that you would typically expect the ability to answer and end the call via a headset is seamlessly integrated. Um, and of course, the uh, support for the USB connection for plug and play. Oh, and just to um, just to confirm there that we do have the the UC or the uh, offering. So the uh, the busy light um, is there to obviously help reduce distractions and eliminate interruptions. So with the uh, WH62 and the 66, you of course have that integrated into the uh, headset. It is of course customizable and works uh, seamlessly with the state that you're in. And of course, you also have the busy light uh, peripheral as an optional extra um, plug and play. So very straightforward. And of course, this also works with the, uh, while well, um, seamlessly synchronizes with the uh, working state. So depending on whether you're, you're on a call, or you're off a call, the light will then illuminate um, accordingly. Very, um, very popular, I would say, and very common in in high density uh, applications. Call centers, for example, this would be a perfect um, example to just illustrate if a, a user um, or, or an engineer or a sales colleague is busy and, and shouldn't be disturbed uh, at that moment in time. So we will now move on to the uh, premium offering, the WH-66 and the WH-67. Okay, the uh, most noticeable um, difference you will realize is the, the four inch uh, touchscreen on offer for the WH-66 and the WH-67. This also uh, combines a full duplex speakerphone, uh, a USB hub to your right, and an optional uh, wireless charging stand that you see to your left there. <clears throat> Built-in uh, Bluetooth and USB connectivity to allow three devices to connect uh, simultaneously. And of course, the uh, controls to maintain uh, chain settings, uh, etc., which can be um, uh, done on the uh, four inch touchscreen there. So it, it it certainly makes it a lot easier to to modify the um, base station to your own personal uh, personal use or choosing. <clears throat> so just to further emphasize um, what Yealink is hoping to accomplish is if you look at the image above, you will see all of these sort of uh, technologies that you would you would typically have on a day-to-day day-to-day um, -day working uh, schedule. So you've got your wireless charger, you've got your USB hub there, your headphones, and what looks like a, a CP700 or CP900 uh, speakerphone. So the idea being that you would have all of these technologies uh, embedded into one application, which you can see on the image below to your right. So it would negate the need to have any of them. You'd have a, a cleaner surface, um, a, an easier approach, I guess, in, in some eyes um, for your day-to-day -day lives. Uh, 
And uh, this is just to uh, confirm that um, all of these settings, a large proportion of settings can be um, done via the four inch uh, touchscreen available on the WH66 and the 67. You can dial a call, join a meeting, call merge, mute hold, etc. All of the things that you would typically uh, be able to do on a, a standard IP phone. And in addition to that, you can uh, customize personal settings. For example, you can choose your preferred way to have a call, whether that be through the headset or the speakerphone by default. Um, myself personally, I've found the headset to be, uh, sorry, not the headset, sorry, the uh, the onboard screen to be uh, very useful if you are looking to tweak and uh, just personalize uh, the headset for your own um, benefit. Okay, just uh, um, uh, an overview on the um, wireless headsets in general, uh, ranging from the WH62 up until the uh, WH67. Just a few key things to, to factor in. Of course, the the four-inch touchscreen will only apply to the uh, the premium offering, the WH66 and the 67. The built-in uh, USB uh, 3.0 hub will only apply to the premium offering. Uh, the speakerphone mode will only be for the uh, the premium offering. Of course, the <clears throat> uh, the Bluetooth support and the uh, QI wireless charging stand will only be for the uh, WH66 and 67. So this will um, the the statistics uh, the data sheet is available online, but this was just to to give you a rough uh, overview of some of the key features um, for these series. So just a, uh, a wireless uh, headset benchmark, just to compare to some of the other headsets out there, the Jabra and, and Poly, of course, I guess the key factors to, to take in would, of course, be the uh, increased uh, talking time, the uh, significant improvement in range, and, of course, the connectivity options that the um, wireless headsets give you, and, of course, the, the onboard ringer, uh, just to help identify uh, an incoming call and the optional accessory for a uh, busy light for the WH62 and 63. So the uh, wireless headset benchmark for the WH66 and 67, of course, the uh, biggest difference will, of course, be the uh, touchscreen, the hands-free speaker, the USB 3 hub, and uh, the optional accessories, including a busy light and wireless charger. So um, a substantial difference um, if you if you compare it to the likes of Jabra Engage 75 and the, and the Poly Savvy 8022.0. So the uh, full portfolio of um, business headsets uh, on offer by Yealink, we of course have the, the USB wired headsets uh, the UH34, the UH36, and of course the UH38, which is uh, coming soon. So for anybody that doesn't have a, a USB uh, port, you also have the RJ option in the form of the YHS uh, 34 and 36. So what we've primary, primarily covered today, sorry, is the uh, decked wireless headsets that you see there, ranging from the WH62 up until the WH67. And we, all, we also have the Bluetooth wireless headsets, which are for on the go uh, commuting. Um, of course, these are coming soon. So as soon as we have any more information on these, we will, of course, uh, let you know. So um, in terms of the presentation, um, that's, that's it. Um, so if you do have any questions, uh, please feel to fire away and, and we'll do all that we can to, to answer them for you. Um, thank you very much, Bilal, for your lovely presentation. I just wanted to confirm with you guys that um, all four models are available to purchase, um, well, to pre-order now. Um, please, please um, give us a call. Call your account manager to to get the pricing and to put your order in as, um, the, you know, with everything new, um, you know, if we've got limited stock availability. Um, we are expecting the delivery to be the end of March of 2021. Um, accessories are still to be confirmed in terms of pricing, but um, sort of 
Um, we're working very hard on our end to, to get that seamlessly released as well. I will um, confirm with you all um, on the accessories. However, the, the four main models are available to order um, now. Okay, uh, thank you, Arshan. So we'll uh, we'll just see if we can answer some of these questions. Uh, and apologies if we can't, we will get back to you with, with answers via email and catch up to you on that one later. So is, will this be supported on uh, 3CX? So during my testing, I can confirm that uh, a part of that did encompass using it on 3CX soft phone. So I can confirm that the, uh, w, uh, they are supported um, on, on 3CX, yes. Okay, um, let's see. So are there any plans for deck based unit and handset that will work for Microsoft Teams? So um, as you are aware, the um, the deck headsets that uh, we've discussed today, that they will uh, work with uh, Microsoft uh, Teams. So um, the Teams application uh, does support uh, the deck headsets that we've, what we've discussed today. The uh, YHS 33 and the UH 33 are not going to be produced anymore. But as far as we're aware, um, they are still um, valid products and they are publicly available. Whether or not they will, um, these products will supersede them is yet to be confirmed. Um, so I, I'm not entirely sure at this stage, sorry. Uh, yes, so there will be a, a demo available. Um, we are recording this webinar, so we will be happy to send this on to anybody that would like to uh, recap or, or watch once again. <laughs> 